and welcome back to another episode of Travis Does Firewood. Today we are changing the hydraulic fluid in the Champion. So with any uh, hydraulic uh, splitter that is um, going to be gas power, there's maintenance involved, which is why some people just opt out and rent it to have someone else do the maintenance, but um, definitely cost effective if you're going to be doing firewood, either you're going to sell it or you're going to burn it in your house. Um, cost effective is to do it yourself. It's not too too, too difficult, not too taxing, um, not like, like uh, brain surgery, but I mean, you kind of have to know what you're doing. So, um, yeah, uh, so, uh, so sadly, I have, this is the first time and only time I have changed the, the, the hydraulic oil um, in this machine since it was bought. So it's definitely severely in need. I'm sure the fluid is definitely dark. Um, so we have, we have um, the five gallon of oil and then the filter, which I hope will throw it on there correctly. Um, on the Champion manual, it gives you all the specs for it. So take that to the store and then get what you need and come back. Um, but the lady at the first store, the automotive store that I went to, like, didn't really know what I, was, uh, what I was asking or looking for. I said, I need hydraulic fluid or oil. And she took me to hydraulic oil for, like, um like a like a jack like a like like a hydraulic jack I'm like no like it's for an engine like a, anyway um so for the, the the for at least the 27 ton uh champion um right here is where the hydraulic fluid oil is stored it's kind of nice having it stored in the the wheel axle as opposed to the bigger splitters you have a separate box for granted they those, those machines need a lot more hydraulic oil than um a um a box store splitter does but it's nice having it it's going to be a dual function having this be a reservoir um and um where the wheels go so since uh, this is my first time doing this and there's not a lot of content on YouTube. Um, yes, I go to YouTube. If I have a question, I YouTube it and usually we'll figure it out. If not, I'll make my own video. So there's kind of like a duel on, on that. So since there's not a lot of um, a content out there, I decided to make this video. Hopefully it will help uh, you out um, all there. So for this, for this splitter, I'm turning around here, you have where you put in the oil here and if this, gets, if this gets too full or we get too hot, oil will come out of this, which is why this is always covered with this towel. So it doesn't get in my face or whatever. This is the hourglass or the window that you see the level. So right now I don't see anything and I haven't seen anything for a while, which is probably my fault, but I'm not sure that's because the this little hourglass thing is broken or it's well, well below where I need to be. So um, hopefully we will be Okay, I know some of these big box splitters, um, there's no, this is the only in and out there for the hydraulic oil. Um, and there's no plug beneath to drain it. But, but in the 27 ton champion, I'm not, I, I can't, I can't speak for the other uh, models of champion or other big box uh, splitters, but we do have uh, a uh, where I can uh, tap into that have it drain the only thing with that I mean that's that's great right so just just to loosen that up and kind of like with the car the oil drains um only thing with that is I have like like six inch of clearance maybe a little plus maybe eight inches of clearance from the bottom here to the ground and so it would be ideal to put like a five gallon bucket below here and I could put this whole thing on jack jack stands or put the wheels on on a few rounds but that's kind of iffy this this thing is heavy I mean you don't want to you don't want to be messing around have it fall down have it mess up the engine or uh, I don't know um that in time so w sadly what I think I'm think I'll be doing is um using a mess of these containers um to drain it and having to plug a screw and then do it again and again and again 
to empty everything because this thing stores um, or takes a four and a half gallons of hydraulic fluid or oil. So hopefully when I get the balance of the five gallon bucket empty, I'll pour the half of a gallon into something fresh, mark it, and then use that bucket to pour the old oil in to dispose of it. So that's my plan. So, um, so the plan of attack, since I kind of have a gist of what I'm doing here, is I think I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna turn it on, get it moving, so the fluid is warm, because right now it's like 55, no, like maybe like 45 degrees, cloudy, little foggy, little mist in the air. Um, so the engine's cold, so let's get it warmed up, and then um, tap that lower drain, fill up some of these containers, and then what I'll probably do is I'll make sure that this is, the handle is loose so there's no pressure, um, and then I'll, maybe I'll, I'll tip the whole thing on end to get the balance of it, and then I'll tip the one wheel opposite side of the bottom tap so all the fluid runs into that corner to get rid of all of it so i'm not i know that people say like you run like um um gas through it or um what are it like um like a solvent through the whole thing to clean the tank and the hoses or like diesel i'm not gonna mess with that i don't want to mess with it i'm not i am not comfortable with any of that and if you are, that's cool. But if you if you if you know better than me, comment down below. But I'm not gonna mess with cleaning the tank. I'm gonna get as much fluid out as I can, and add fresh, um, add the uh, filter, and call it good. All right. So to start, I have uh, cardboard below where we're going to be uh, having the uh, the uh, drain plug uh, because I don't want any oil on the ground. Uh, some people say if you put oil on the ground, you're giving it back to nature. Well, let me tell you this. Um, oil or gas, yeah, it, it, it does come from the earth, but it's, it, it's, it's refined. It's made into products that we use. So whatever you get from the earth is different from what you are using in your car, in the engine, in your gas tank, um, in this litter here. Not the same, so if I can prevent what I can from from having to kill my grass or killing anything that's gonna uh that come in contact with the oil or gas a better for it and then I'm going to 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 dispose of this properly because that's the thing to do, so just keep that in mind that's my two cents so back on here we have um the catcher beneath here I hope that this 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 idea goes well I know you can't see me but you can hear me let's see if this can tap so just gonna get a, a wrench in there the clearance is definitely not my friend right now so this is gonna be lefty loosey this is gonna be opposite threads all right so since I'm doing this in batches since I can't get a five gallon bucket beneath this point, sorry for the odd angle, and I'm gonna leave the the the, the drain plug. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on there, just on thread enough where it will drain. But when need to, when this when this is full, to uh, to screw it on so it will stop from flowing, and then so I can take out this this full one and and replace it, and replace it with a one that is gonna be empty. So hopefully that will work. So that didn't work. I'm just gonna watch it fill. The, the, the color doesn't look too bad, um, which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. Um, we'll see if it changes, but it should be the same color all throughout. So I'm just gonna watch it, and then I will re-screw it on to stop it, and then replace it, like, like I mentioned. It'll take a while.
All right, so I it's now dripping a little bit on there. So um, let's get the balance that at least is in this reservoir, um, not tilted. So I'm sure there's a little bit more in there, but I'll tilt the other wheel um, in a second. Um, we got about uh, a little more than two two gallons, and I it, it, it says that it takes four and a half. Now, how much is in the hoses? And then, my, and if I had been running this for a little more than two gallons of oil for, I don't know how long. That's definitely not good for the the pump. Eek! So we're now letting that drain a little bit, and now we're gonna tackle getting off the um, the filter. So let's let's try that right now. All right, so I'm gonna try taking this off by hand. It should just be hand tight, but sometimes it's not. I have my my collector beneath it. Nope. So I have my handy tool to unscrew it. There it goes. Now it clicks. All right. So um, I thought I would assume to, I've never dealt with hydraulic oil before, just uh, automotive oil and for the lawnmowers and, and all that stuff. But um, th so apparently. Um, there's no difference. So I got this in the automotive section of the hardware store of the of the the automotive store, and I, it wasn't a special um, filter. So if you look in here, it's not too bad inside. Definitely, I need to change this to make sure that this bad boy will last a long time. But um, as I mean, I, I've definitely have seen worse, but definitely time to to change it out. So because this is is upside down like this um usually like with a car i know or anything that's like upwards and screwed in you would add oil to this to get the total of volume needed but since this is the other direction i can't add oil in here and then put it on it's gonna all be gushing out right so i'll, I'll definitely add some oil to the o-ring here the gasket whatever you want to call it and then put it on and tie it up a little bit um, but uh, yeah, hopefully that will go well. Let's put this to the side for now. There is, is some residual um, oil in here. I guess I'll just like soak that up, and um, we'll go um, into into having this be tilted. All right, so we're gonna try this. This works out. Let's get my my floor jack, pump it up, and then so we'll tilt this wheel up because the drain is on this side. One thing I didn't do is like i said i was going to do in in this video beginning of the video is to turn it on well i space hopefully it's not, not 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 that big of a deal um and i what i didn't do is i didn't um uh to take this this top off so there's airflow um going in to make sure that this will flow kind of like you do with the car uh type thing so i hope that will be okay but i took it off now so it's getting into it so let's see if we can tilt this go up with it Make sure that this is cranked, sealed. Yep, that's closed. All right, so let's go up with it. Not making much of a difference at all, but just to make sure. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. Let's tilt the other way at the wheels and um, Make sure that we get we get everything from the hoses. So having to tip it up like that did do something. I see more or less like steady stream down there. And then this was full. 
I didn't take it out with a, 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 a paper towel, but up to here, that was, that had fluid in it, so that, 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 that it has all now drained into this a, a reservoir now coming out here. So in theory, wouldn't there still be fluid or no fluid in these in these hoses? I'm tempted to take like this clamp off and check. So let me do that real quick. So I'm not sure if you're able to see that or not, but <clears throat> this 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 hose was definitely um, it had oil on it, and then I collected uh, uh, debris from splitting and dirt, whatever else. Well, this hose clamp was definitely loose when I went to go um, uh, to undo it. Uh, FYI, these Harbor Freight screws, a uh, driver, they're like either free or like two dollars. The the larger socket usually fits on top of these hose clamps. So just a uh, pro tip. Um, anyway, I took that off. There's nothing in these hoses. So whatever came out through the reservoir um, That's that's what it, um, all of it has drained. So I assume that all of these these bigger hoses here are the same as well um, So I went ahead and get all the gunk off it don't want to get any debris in the hose or in the reservoir That will clog up your filter and the whole pump, but that'd be bad. So uh, clean, clean, clean up the the the, uh, the hose here I tighten up this clamp, not too tight, but just tight enough, you know, and then this hose clamp. So we should be good to go. Um, let's check out if we can see inside the tank. All right, so here's the lid, and we have our flashlight. Let's turn it on, let's see if we can see. Mm, I don't see much. I don't know if I can get the angle of the dangle and the light at the same time for you all to see, but I don't see much in there. I don't think that in there is debris in there. I think that's just bubbles. But um, in way of much of like rust, I can't I can't tell. But it's good to check to see if you see anything in there or not. But uh, yeah. All right. Next thing I want to check to make sure that the new filter matches the old one um because it had specs on the on the the manual for the the um the splitter but i want to make sure i don't want to put on something different and have it not have it not work so this is the the new one from wix right then there was three options there were knn wix and franz and whatever the local um a parts store had I just bought that it was like 15 bucks so let's see if they match up it seems to match up fine width wise let's confirm the threads I don't know if threads are different but you let me know in the comments I'm not again I'm not a, a mechanic um, they seem to, to go on well and, and tighten um, so that seems to work. So I don't need to return it. So now we'll let let's get this prepped for refill So let's see how to open this Jug here. This is gonna be very interesting to do this These come up the tabs come up Come on So then in theory this turns, yep. This turns like that. Oh nice. So there's an inner inner plug. When in doubt, use your keys as a tool. <clears throat> this come off. Check. Okay, so that and that's full. Okay, so this is the, the cap for it, and that comes pops off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my this is the, the new one. Use my finger, get the new oil, and put it on the gasket or the, the seal here so it's sealed tight and, they'll, and then, we'll, they, they will, then we'll put it back on. All right, we have our filter uh, now with the, uh, the oil on the, on the seal. 
still on there. So again, I'm not putting any oil in the, the, the filter because it would just come out if I tip it upside down. So hope that it should be good when I go to turn it on. So going to hand, hand crank it. And we'll test it out, make sure it's not leaking um, when we turn it on after we add all the oil to it. So just going to hand tighten it and that should be good for now. So now it's time to to um, add uh, new oil. Um, I'm gonna use this funnel because I feel that the, the funnels are easier and less messy. Um, but I'm concerned about having to lift up and hold up this five gallon bucket. So um, we'll, see how, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I almost added oil without having to put back the drain plug. Make sure you do that. After you put on the new oil filter, replace the drain plug. Now, I didn't see a gasket on it, so I'm just going to put it on tighten it off camera. But don't add new, new oil without screwing back on the drain plug. sure if you saw the bubble come up but I think this bubble I think we're at full I believe if, if, if you can see that um, or not I'm not sure if you saw it go up or not but we are definitely um, at the brim here now I'm gonna I mean that's obviously with the hoses and the filter empty so I still have a little bit left in the bucket let's check out the bucket here Still got a little bit left, not much in there. Um, so, <laughs> pro tips, here's what I did. Um, buying a five gallon bucket of oil is more cost effective than buying five one gallon um, jugs. Now we're buying five gallon, even though this, this, this uh, takes four and a half. Well, there's not half gallon that you can buy. So you need to buy more than what you need to make the four and a half. That makes sense math wise, right? Right. So, but with the five gallon bucket, they're unlike like the, the ones that you buy, like your oil for your cars, or your trucks. Uh, these ones here, they have the little like clear uh, window in them, right? So these, the bucket doesn't have that. So what I did was I, I, I measured out um, eight cups with this, eight cups, um, so, so for the four cups, four cups, eight, and put it in um, an, a, a, an empty uh, bar and chain oil jug. So this, so in here is half of um, a gallon. Uh, so half, so half a gallon minus five gallons is four and a half, which is what the machine takes. So that was what I had in leftover in the bucket. So now I know exactly how much oil was in the bucket now what i did was and for the bucket it's super awkward to get it um to tilt it in there and and dump i did i did not not do a very good job with with the funnel but what i'm doing is i took the cap off the the lid off the little thing you take off because the um the spigot or the hole to pour it was not in uh, i was not perpendicular to the handle which made it super awkward. So they would take off the bucket, look inside, see how much I had left. And in doing so, I was able to put the bucket on um, so it would pour, um, be not, let, 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 it would be less awkward with the handle. Now what I did, kind of like with a gas can, and when you don't have um, like a hole in it, it would do the glug, glug, glug. And this is the same thing with, with this is getting oil. 
um, everywhere. So what I did was when I was uh, reattaching the lid to pour out, what I did was I only clicked in the front side, the the uh, the the, the, the uh, uh, tabs here, leaving the the back end where I'm where I'm holding and not uh, not pouring open. So that 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 they gave enough airflow to 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 ensure there's no glug glug glug. So there's still some in here, which I think um, is because, like I said before, the hoses and the filter are not full. So what I'm thinking is we turn it on um, and let's see if it if it runs and hopefully, hopefully I don't break it. So I think you saw that. Um, just splitting that one, that one cookie. Um, the level, I don't think has changed. Um, maybe a little bit in terms of that bubble. So maybe we are, maybe we are right on. Um, I'm not sure. I'm gonna show you a picture um, up here of a screenshot that I had of someone else in terms of the level, because I it's I think it's weird on these on at least for the champions of. Of, of 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 how to gauge where you need to be for fluid. So I think with that bubble, I think I'm okay. Now I was walking around when I first turned it on to make sure that I didn't have any leaks. So I don't I, I don't see or feel any leaks here. I think I think what I what I got on my finger is is residual um, from uh, from from uh, t putting it on and here. I think we're gonna, yeah, I, I see some oil here, so we're gonna give that um, a turn or two. But the hose that I had, um, not much coming out there, but um, seemed to have fluid in it. So I think, I think we're good. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ruin it. I didn't, I didn't break it. I made it better. So, yep. Yeah, so, so preventative maintenance is definitely the way to go. Um, and not having it break, and then having to have a, a very expensive uh, fix on your on your hands, right? So um, I hope I hope that that um, is just I mean it's it's not not that difficult to do, um, just in terms of um, getting the right parts and having the right tools, and then um, and then rocking and rolling, right? So let me tighten up the the filter. And uh, how about we how about, how about we split how about, how about we split some wood for a bit? Sound good? Let's do it. Uh, one more th thing before we start splitting. Um, good. If you're going to check or replace the hydraulic oil, you might as well check the motor oil. So I just checked it. We're good to go, and it looks like a good color. But any of you who have a champion, can you answer me this? Why is there two dipsticks for the the motor oil on the champion you have one on the front right there and then on the other side you have one right there now the one right here is almost impossible to get to one on the front isn't too bad it's kind of kind of awkward you have to be on your your hands and knees and then over here is where you loosen up to drain it like how awkward is that 
like I they could it could they have designed it to be any any more awkward or less I don't know uh, I'm not complaining I'm just saying I'm just saying so let's move it and let's let for a bit one more thing um, I took I took instead of having that old bar and chain container where is it right here right here instead of having that be half a gallon I just poured the balance of the hydraulic oil that it's good and clean and new into this I'll mark it and I'll know that this is that in case I need to add more to make sure that this bubble is good to go I know where to go so that so that's that that's the case I have this five gallon bucket for the old oil so I took all the containers that I had of the old one and put them in here so I was definitely so I was probably at I'd say shy of like a half a gallon um, that I was missing so not too bad not terribly bad I was I was concerned that I was like gallon shy but um, all in all this is this is pretty uh, pretty pretty it's okay and it's darker in here because the containers that I had to put them in had had residual uh, motor oil in it so that's why it's darker so now we can split <laughs> Like the changing of the hydraulic uh, oil um, worked it seems to work fine um, the ram wouldn't work if there's no oil in it at all right so um, I think I have so I so I'm pretty sure and confident that my levels are, are good um, just wanted to test it out real quick I have some other things to do um, one thing I wanted to point out as I was as I was um, splitting out I, I it popped to my mind that some some people when they um they're changing their 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 hydraulic fluid or oil out it's like milky um looking and that's when you have water in it so water will mix in with it as you're as you're pumping it and create this milky like frothy bubbly looking um, oil um and i didn't have that so that's a good thing no water in in my in my reservoir in oil so um i hope that that is um it's gonna prolong, prolong the life of, of the splitter. I'm uh, working on this uh, two cord load. This is the all the resplits right here to my left, your right, and over here is the balance of the wood that we have yet to to split from that load. So uh, not too bad of 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 of, of job to do. Just having to actually do it. Um, so you saw me toss to my left the cuts for that would be rack wood and bundle wood and then behind me i toss a pile right over there and those are all like smaller chunk cookies so those will be going into my my bonfire rack so i i'm pretty sure i have now more than a face cord of the shorties you can kind of kind of eyeball it um between like like 12 inches or so um versus like 16 a little bit more um so eyeball it and, and split um so and then when i'm splitting the resplits having to find a balance between splitting them uh just big enough like a medium size for the regular rack wood and then uh to be a little bit smaller for my bundle wood so kind of have a, a balance of each even though i do i think i sell more bundles than i do racks so to have more bundle wood size wood than i would for my rack wood but I uh, just kind of had to find that balance that in if, if, a, if a piece of wood has like a knot in it uh, that would be a default of rack wood because it's easier to split a small lot of pieces when it's clear um, for uh, to, to split uh, for bundle wood so uh, th so thank you for tuning in I appreciate it uh, thank you for for watching if you have any questions let me know down in the comments if I'm doing this way off if i'm wrong any of these steps please let me know down in the comments uh, we learn from each other and by all means i'm not a mechanic i'm not an expert just kind of figuring this out as we go along here so 
Uh, thank you. Stay safe. Now keep going. And, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.